Hey guys, good morning, or at least good morning from Barcelona, March 4th at 7.20 a.m. And I wanted to bring you my first impressions of MailPoet. Now, MailPoet is a mailing system or an autoresponder system for WordPress. It is currently on a lifetime deal with AppSumo. I picked it up myself. Um, the deal is that they will um, give you 5,000 emails per site for unlimited sites for $49. Now, what does that mean? Let's let's understand what that means. That means that per website, you can email or have an email list of 5,000 subscribers, which is not a bad list. If you could get a good list of 5,000 subscribers, that would do you really well. So that to me for 49 bucks is amazing, but this is for as many sites as you have. So there's been a couple of concerns that people have had of, well, how can they sustain this? Well, obviously they want to build momentum. Like all these lifetime deals, they want to build momentum. Now, MailPoet is not new. They have a lot of good customers, as in big corporations, not just small fry like you and me. And they're offering this. Really, the, the, a lot of the times the uh, companies offer lifetime deals to get even more exposure, a quick injection of cash. And they know that 80% of people who buy the deal will never come close to the 5,000 limit. So I decided to pick it up. Um, one of the things I like about mail poet is that before you actually are allowed to use the system they have to verify your website so i'm hoping that they will verify my website because if they don't well then uh that's not great but they are very very strict on their spam policy which is good so who is this deal not for this deal is not for people who want to buy or who rent an email list and want to spam because the way the deal works is that you will actually send out emails via their servers and their servers they say have a very good inboxing now inboxing is the ability to reach somebody's inbox rather than the spam filter so they have a lot of rules that you know you can't be um sending out emails about mlm about gambling about pornography etc drugs etc so i did ask them well if you're an affiliate marketer, can you send out emails about um, affiliate marketing? And they haven't responded to me yet because I guess they're they're overloaded with the amount of people who are picking up this deal. But I think this should be okay as long as you don't make it spammy. They don't want get rich quick schemes. So I think you have to be a little bit careful um, of what you send out, but um, to provide good quality. Now, the advantage of this system is that it's when you buy it on this deal, and there's a link in the description, but the advantage is that this is a once off payment. Now, if you go to Aweber, if you go to get response, they're going to be charging you at least 30 to 40 dollars per month. So this is really going to save you money. Now, I have used another system and I still use it on some of my websites, um, which is a WordPress plugin, which works really well. Um, but this is just a little bit more advanced. It has a couple of nicer little integrations that I like, etc. So. Let's have a look. Um, the first thing that you need to do is you need to install the mail plugin, the mail poet plugin, apologies. And I would install this while you're waiting for your site to be approved. Now, I go in here, um, I install it, I then go to my settings, and there's a couple of settings that I just need to change. And that is the default sender, uh, the uh, subscribe and registration form if you want that, manage subscription pages okay so what you can actually do here which is really nice is you can create your own managed subscription pages and then you just drop this little um short code into any wordpress page that you've created and that will actually create um the managed subscription pages like it is here you'll see here that it says manage your subscription if you want to subscribe, unsubscribe, etc., you can just do it from there. The same goes for your unsubscribe page. You just uh, drop this in there. Okay. You can get notified of new people who come in to your site, etc. You have sign up confirmation. Now they do want you to have double opt-in. Um, a lot of the times we don't use double opt-in because uh, a lot of the people may just subscribe and they don't want to be double opted in, as in they don't want to have to click through to another page in order to say that they uh, are in order to confirm their subscription. So, but double opt-in is really important. Why? Because if a person has opted into your list um, to get a free report, they, might, they may just use mickeymouse at mickeymouse.com 
Mickey Mouse is a trademark of the Disney Corporation. Just have to say that uh, eagerly. <laughs> and the problem is that they put in a fake email address. With double opt-in, it sends them a confirmation email that says, please click here in order to actually uh, get on our list and get your free report. So this is the for this is the confirm your subscription. You have little short codes here. You have a confirmation page. So I have a confirmation page here, which I've actually just done myself. I've created because it says here that you can select any page. You save the settings. Now send with. This is where I have to wait to get the mail poet sending service. Let me just take a quick drink. Now, with other systems, and I've used most, well, I've used a lot of them, you will have um, uh, third-party systems like SendGrid, like Amazon, etc., that you have to set up yourself, which is an additional cost, be it a small cost, but it's still another setup. And male poets say that they do this for you. And they look after very important things like your SPF and your DKIM. They automatically re remove invalid and bounced address to keep your lists clean. Now I will, um, I will do a, an updated video once this goes ahead, but uh, I'm just waiting for that. In the advanced setting, we have um, different tasks here and bounce email addresses and open and click tracking, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so the current sending method. Um, again, what I will do is I will go through all of those options once I've actually uh, been approved. Now, this is quite interesting. Stop sending to inactive subscribers. So if people do not um, open up your emails, they can automatically be, uh, well, uh, you can automatically stop sending to them just by using this option. So that, that can be very useful because um, I started to get into email marketing, like reading a lot about it and, Things like um, if people aren't opening your emails, that will reduce your reputation and a lot of email servers or a lot of um, companies like Gmail, etc., uh, will stop delivering if they see that you have very low open rates, etc. And um, here, if we create a form, you have um, a protection against spam signups, which is really important as well because um, the the problem with um the problem with email lists is that for some reason and i don't know it, it hit me on a, an email list that i had a couple of years ago that bots were just hitting it and i was getting subscriptions from name 7474747 q z z x y z and then an email address and for some reason i don't know why they were just submitting email addresses to my sign up forms perhaps it was some sort of hack etc i don't know but this will protect against spam and then the key activation is where I will activate the key once I actually get my subscription here. So one of the things I like about MailPoet so far, and I still haven't used it, <laughs> is this idea here of your welcome email. So your welcome emails are basically where you're going to have your autoresponder. So what I've done here is uh, this is the first email that is sent when somebody subscribes. So if I just go into edit this, you'll see how nice this creates the emails all from within your WordPress rather than having to go somewhere else. Okay, so time to be rather than do. You have your subject line. You have your pre-header, which is often what comes up when somebody looks at their email. It's like a, a, a little a summary that, that you can control. So I can put in lots of graphics here. I can lay out the actual uh, email here really nicely. I can put in my picture, which is really nice. I can put in my social media icons, and then I just need to add my postal address here. Once I've set up, I will do all of that. Um, if I click on next here, it's just off screen. If I click on next here, you will see that what I can actually do is I can change the subject line. I can tell, I can say when that is to be sent. I can say who it's sent from, and I can put it into Google Analytics. Now, just let me go back here. And what you will see here is if I go back to welcome emails, I then have a second email that I send after one day. So I can continue to do that and continue to put in uh, these autoresponders for as many lists as I like. Now, one of the things that you can do is you can set up your lists from over here. And with lists, 
you can set up different lists. So this is the newsletter and this is WordPress users. Now I haven't used this, but I kind of like this because I have wish list here. So in theory, when somebody sets, uh, when somebody um, joins wish list, uh, a membership from wish list, I could send them a general email here. I think I have to still try that out. Um, this will list all my subscribers. This will allow me to create forms over here. So if I click on forms, what I can actually do is I can go in here and I can create a form. So my first form, uh, I can put in different blocks. I can put in custom fields here. Uh, I can decide where the form placement is below all pages, below all posts, which is really good. Custom CSS. Um, after you submit, it will go to this page here. Check to uh, check your inbox or spam folder to confirm your subscription. So it looks it looks pretty good from that point of view. Now, one of the one of the key points that I actually bought this for is because it actually will also integrate with page builders. And one of the page builders that I use here is uh, Beaver Page, and it does integrate with this. So this was important for me as well because it means that um, when I go in to create a form. In Beaver Builder, I can just just select Male Poet. So uh, again, I will do a further, more in-depth review once I've actually tried that. Segments, uh, I need to see, but my understanding of segments is that you can segment your list into, um, you know, openers, purchasers, etc., so that you can uh, move people around from one list to another. I believe I still have to check that. Um, so that is. Uh, the basic overview of male poet let me know your questions but right off the bat for $49 for 5,000 emails for unlimited sites it is a steal so if I go to the male poet site here um, one of the things you'll see here is that they list as their customers um, SAP, Decathlon, TripAdvisor, University of Alaska and DHL the only one that I wouldn't have heard about is the University of Alaska, but the other companies I do know, they're getting a 90% happiness rating. So to me, this is this is pretty good. You know, it's um, they're not messing around. And again, it's not some sort of uh, internet marketer setting up some sort of mailing system that's a piece of crap, and they're probably going to uh, get burnt because so many email marketers are actually just going in and. Um, spamming this is a professional company who are running with professionals so that's why um, you have to wait to be approved and I appreciate that you know so if you have any questions just let me know and as I say once I get approved um, I will do a more in-depth video for you so that's it guys have a great day uh, if you want to pick this up just use the link in the uh, description or on the button, you'll see it somewhere. If it's on Facebook or YouTube or if it's on my website, you will see it somewhere. And let me know what you think. Talk to you very soon, guys. Bye.